Salutations ladies and gentlemen, this is FizonDude117 here with my first tutorial on how to green screen using After Effects by using any uh, clips from cartoons or things like that. Now before I get started on this tutorial, I'm going to do a brief introduction about myself. So if there's any fast paced learners out there who prefer to have a fast tutorial, I'll provide timestamps and brief steps in the video description below so that way you guys can learn at your own pace. As for the other slow ner learners like me, you know, just try not to fall asleep, you know, I don't have the most entertaining voice out there, but I'll try my best. Now, a little bit about myself is that I don't do a lot of video editing, you know, I usually play video games and whatnot. So what I'm trying to say is my editing skills and tutorials may be like not good because I don't dedicate full time to those type of video editors as you can see you know I do video games I do pony videos you know um, dash cam recordings crisis and all that other stuff so if there's anything I miss in this tutorial please um message me don't don't hesitate to correct me or anything like that so um, let's get started first we need to open up After Effects and let's go ahead and let's see where the uh, clip you want to use. Now the clip for this tutorial that I'm going to do is this little scene right here. Uh, right here. Alright so I want Pinkie Pie to be um, the only thing I want to use. I don't want none of the background or none of the colors back here. So let's go ahead and let's click and drag our clip into the project here of After Effects. We're going to create a new composition by click and dragging into this box that looks like a film. Alright, so it's going to be in our timeline. Now for this scene here, I want Pinkie Pie. So I'm going to scroll all over here where the scene almost begins because I just want to do an estimation. Now let's go ahead and click and drag the yellow bar you see on the timeline all the way to that little mark I did there. And let's go ahead and let's move forward to where the scene ends. Yeah, somewhere around there. Okay. So this is going to drag the other side of the yellow bar and put it right there in that marker. Now we're going to right click and hit Trim Comp to Work Area so we can work only with this scene here. Now let's go ahead and perfect it more by, let's see, right here. Let's do the same thing again. Click and drag. And same thing to the other side too. Uh, right there click and drag, right click, tr trim comp to work area, and it should be all here now. Now this is the scene I want to use. Now before you get started, um, you want to go to composition, you want to go to your composition settings, you want to double click on the color right here. Your color may be different because I have been playing around with mines. Now go ahead and set the red to zero, we're going to set the blue to zero, let's give green like a number like 255 that way when you hit enter and you hit enter again the background of our workplace is going to be green as you can see here all right now this is where the fun stuff begins let's go ahead and just for being organized i'm just going to put a green pinky uh, you don't have to do that. I just wanted to get organized. So you can go ahead and right click on the video right beside the timeline right here. We're going to go to effects. We're going to go to key. And we're going to go to color key right here. Now this is the effect that you're going to use to make the background turn green. So we're going to use this effect multiple times. So what you want to do is highlight the effect and hit control D a couple of times. Um, you'll see just a second why. All right. Now, right beside the uh, key color, you're going to hit the eyedrop right here. You're going to click, let's say, any background. You don't want to click on Pinkie Pie yet. Uh, let's click on the background, and as you can see, it already shows some green spots. You're going to go to the color tolerance, and you're going to raise it so anything of this color will become green. So it's like the potent, I guess you could say. It's just raise it where the background will only disappear. Now, as you can see, you know, since Pinky's eyes is kind of white, 
and the background I just used my eyedropper on was white, it'll make this eye green. But don't worry about that. We'll fix that later. But for now, we're, we're going to concentrate on just making only the background green. So if it looks like 50 is a good number to stop. So I covered most of the whites. Let's go ahead and minimize this because we're not going to use it. Let's go to the second color key. We're going to hit on the eyedrop. We're going to click a different color. Let's do this one. And we're going to raise the tolerance just enough so every every color everything of that color will turn green, I guess. Now slowly raise it until it's a good mark. And oh, nope, that's too much. You don't want to do it too much where all of her uh, body will be greenish. And trust me, you, you wouldn't want to uh, have that all over her. So we're just going gonna, gonna to go and raise it down. You know what? I'm going to click on this and hit 80. I think 80 is a good stopping point for this. All right. Let's minimize that. Let's get the eye drop. Let's rinse and repeat. Click on the color. Raise it up. Just like so. And when you notice, when you do green screen to any character, whether it's, you know, ponies or humans, you'll notice that you'll see these green spots here. And don't worry for these green spots. We'll fix that later. And as you know, her cutie mark is also green. We'll fix that later too. But for now, we'll just concentrate on the background. All right, so 162, that's a bit too high. Let's lower it just a tad bit. All right, let's do 113. Let's minimize that. We're gonna go to another one. Click on the eyedrop, click on that color, and we'll just raise it. I think 80 will be good. 84. 84 looks good. All right. Every time you do these, go ahead and just scroll through the timeline to make sure that everything looks good. To make sure that Pinkie Pie doesn't have green, you know, all over her body or any character you use. Let's go ahead and just like scroll around. It looks good here in this uh, scene here. Looks like the background is most of it's gone. Let's go ahead and minimize this and click on the eyedrop and let's go ahead and take down that black stuff. There we go. Let's raise the tolerance, and I don't even need to raise it that high. As you can see, I already disappeared in 26. Uh, for you, it may be different, though, depending on which scene you do. So it gets kind of tricky, but once you get the num, once you get the numbers down, you'll know what what tolerance to use. So it looks it looks all good here, you know, aside from the eye and the cutie mark and the little specks of green. Most of the background is gone, and we only have Pinkie Pie here. So go ahead and minimize this uh, one and delete the uh, effects you don't use. So I only need it five. All right. Now let's get rid of those pesky green blocks. All right. You want to do is right click on the space here. We want to go to keen. And I lied. I don't want to go keen. It's matte. You want to go to matte, refine matte. Now by default, I'll have some check marks um, checked on the boxes. It'll make all these, all this look uh, like someone did a kindergarten paint. Let's go ahead and, uh, and check these two boxes here to get rid of all that mushy stuff. And let's go ahead and um, let's see here. As you can see, I just left it at, a at its um, default setting. Most of the uh, green stuff, the, the green boxes specs has disappeared. As you can see, I'm going to turn it off. Let's see, what's a good spot? Uh, like most of this hairline here, when I turn it on, it's gone. And as you notice, a little bit of mesh, you know, green mess here. As you can say, gag. I don't know. I'm not into that gag stuff. Anyways, so it got rid of most of the specs here. So we'll just leave it at its default right there. Let's minimize that. Now, depending on your taste, this is optional. I just want to trim this little edge just a tad more bit, just to get rid of those, you know, grayish -like looking thing. And again, this is optional. You don't have to do it. But for me, it depends on your taste and how exact you want to be on the edges. Let's go right click. We're going to go to matte again. And we're going to go to matte choker. And by default, it'll have these settings here. As you can see, it kind of trimmed down the... Uh, the size just a bit, you know, just a tad bit, not not enough, but it's good. It's good enough. I like it. So I'm going to scroll around. 
and it looks good. It looks good for the most part. All right, so how do we fix those pesky eyes and the cutie mark? So what we want to do is we're going to duplicate our video right here by putting Control D. I'm going to rename this duplicate. duplicate. I'm going to go ahead and disable, or you could delete all the effects on the duplicate video. I don't want none of this. Okay, let's go ahead and let's go to the duplicate and let's turn off the eye or click on the eye to turn it off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a mask. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the duplicate video that you just duplicate. You're going to hit G for the pen tool and you're going to create a little, a little circle here around the eyebrows, around the eyes, just like so. And then you close it off. And from here, when you act reactivate the eye right over here, you'll see that her eye is fixed. Now, now what happens is when I move through the timeline, you know, it just stays there. We have to keyframe the mask to move it with Pinkie Pie. So that has to be done, you know, by hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, the drop down arrow right beside the duplicate. We're going to go to the mask drop down arrow. We're going to go to the mask one drop down arrow. All right, you're going to click on this timer beside mask path. That way it'll activate a keyframe right here in your timeline. Now what you want to do is for each frame she moves, uh, let's see, right here. So she moves right here. And oh this slow render thing. So pixely. Alright, so she moves nope. There, right there. Okay, so what you want to do is just click and drag your uh your mask around, see? Just like this to cover up all the all the green stuff. Or you could, you know, you could just click on these individual ones. And just drag it just like that. Now you can go to the next frame. Uh, it's so this render sucks so bad. Okay, right here. Now she moves again, and go ahead and click on the boxes to move it around so that way it won't be green again. Just like that, and as you can see, just by this little bit, we already made a small, you know, a small one right here. Basically. You just keep doing this hand by hand each frame every time she moves let's go ahead and click this and just drag it up just like that to the side maybe to the bottom and from there you just keep doing all through until you finish to the end now for the purpose of this tutorial I already did all the keyframes for it so that way you guys don't have to wait or see a speed up video of me doing each one. Uh, right over here. <sighs> Alright, so I already went ahead and did another mask for the cutie mark too. I did the whole face. I made it so that it'll move with the face. Just like that. So this is the the uh, part that usually takes the longest for people try to do green screen, because if an error occurs, as in like her eyes become all, all you know green, her teeth become green, her cutie mark becomes green, you know you have to create a mask and do a keyframe each time. So that may take lengthy depending on the clip you're trying to do. So, you know once you're finished doing all that hard stuff. Uh, it's not hard it's just long once you finish doing all that long stuff you want to render it you are done with the green screen you have finished you know cutting out the background just leaving Pinkie Pie here so let's go ahead and let's go to composition let's go to add to render queue or query or whatever you like to pronounce it uh, I put it in lossless AVI file best settings so you can just go ahead and render this scene out takes a while and 
it's almost done. Oh, well, I should have included the audio. You know what? I'm going to include the audio. Just give me a second. Alright, so I went ahead and just rendered out the audio with it. Um, let's go ahead and save changes, close it down. Alright, and let's go to the clip you render it to. Big dance? So you can still run for princess to the big dance and then ask you to dance at that dance? <gasps> <laughs> so as you can see here, we have successfully green screened Pinkie Pie out of the background that we didn't want and from here you could basically implement it in any uh, any video you wish to uh, put whether it's in real life video or some other video you're trying to do now another thing I would like to show you is you know what if there's a moving background like for example this one Scootaloo running this one I did a while back but if you look at the original scene I'll open up the file just give me one second It'll show the background moving, and it's the same thing as, uh, all right, hold on, let me take this out. All right, so you can see here, you know, this background moving. I mean, it, it this it's not different than the one we just did. It's just that, you know, you just got to be careful when you're taking out the background. Just be very careful when you keep keying in different ones like this, like that, like that. Just constantly move your clip around to make sure that everything is good. You know, you don't want, you know, to key out a color that only appears here, but also appears, in, you know, let's say in her eyebrows, I guess. You know, you might be making Scootaloo's eye all greenish when you don't really need to be. I'll save you time. So just, it's a just a tip you know just each time you keep going just pay attention to your scene here uh, every time you get any small amount of green inside her body or wherever character you're doing go ahead and use the refine mat the mat choker i'll get mo rid of most of the green stuff in her body and just you know be patient when you do the masking too you know it, it it requires time but once you finish it'll pay out at the end so that's that and that's basically it I mean just go ahead and um, grab some scenes and you know try practicing with it like this scene I obviously got in uh, wasn't that hard just grab random scenes from the episode as you can see I'm trying to do this one Yeah, uh, I'm currently doing the green screen for Rainbow Dash on this scene here on the cupcakes. Uh, and this is what I got so far. But th the hard part about green screening this screen is that I need to do a mask for Cutie Mark for her mane up here and her tail here. And that requires a lot of patience. Um, nearly complete with it. I'm halfway through. And, you know, just keep practicing with other ones for example you know do what you want cause a pirate is free you are a pirate just do something very simple to start out with like just white background and just simply key it out do what you want cause a pirate is free you are a pirate you know, once you key it out it shouldn't be that hard and of course if you guys have any questions on anything I'll do my best to answer it but like I said before, I'm not a uh, you know After Effects guru. Um, I don't know anything about or much about After Effects and stuff like that. So, you know. Thank you for watching my video. If you found my tutorial very helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like my tutorial and it was very bad, just give it a thumbs down. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you want more tutorials. If you have any other suggestions on which tutorial I should do next, please don't hesitate to uh, post it in the comments below. And I'll try to get into you as soon as I can. So hopefully I won't be too lazy. <laughs> Good day, guys.